Francesco di Pazzi. Brought up as a noble in a city captivated by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the middle class and its social climbers. Dismayed, he watched as the Medici bank eclipsed his own and centuries of influence over the Florentine government slipped away. It looks like the Spaniard offered him a solution. Rather than compete in something as dirty as banking, Francesco only had to do one thing for the Templars, one thing to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the Medici. Giovanni Auditore tried to stop Francesco by putting him in jail. But the Templars took care of that. Those are kind of interesting. Yeah, I never really watched them. Probably will from now on. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, well. Before we go there, I'm just going to grab this viewpoint. Okay. Or whatever you call it. That's the name of them, right? Yeah. This is taking too much time. Can you hurry up? Well, I don't want to get in trouble I'm here like with, a tight like, schedule. with, like, the Gestapo of Assassin's Creed. You're not allowed to talk about that. It reminds me of something in history that was bad, so we can't talk about it. We're gonna paint over that. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to discuss it. I don't. Even, I don't even want to think about it. It's disgusting, and you bringing it up really triggers me. Um, wait, are you saying that the? Are you? Wait, who was it that did that? The painting over paintings was it in Russia, wasn't it Stalin? Yeah. Okay. Are you saying Stalin was the first SJW? I'm not saying changed, I'm not saying he wasn't. Because he changed history because it upset him. I am not saying he wasn't. Okay. But technically speaking, if you want to go back in history, the very first person ever to do that was actually John Adams. John Wilkes Booth? John Adams. John John F. Kennedy? Uh John Adams. John Walker? Captain yes. America? Yes. <laughs> oh, interesting. I wonder how yeah. he got away with that. He, he didn't probably, actually. He probably had to wait ten minutes. He's like, I can't wait ten minutes. Oh no! I gotta get rid of this guy's ah! history. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go there, but like first, we just we just gotta buy, buy some paintings. We, yeah, we gotta get a painting. You're gonna like buy out all the paintings. You can buy pre Madonnas. A pleasure doing business. Nice. All right. Are you feeling happy now? You got the painting. I am feeling very good. What do you about do with myself? those paintings? Do you like? Uh, I actually print, so the reason I've been getting them is I connect my PS5 okay. to the internet, I print them up, and I sell them as forgeries. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why every time we're here, like, uh, I gotta get a painting. Like, you can only pass off so many originals of a painting before I'm like, ah, I need some new ones. <laughs> so that's why every time you're here, I'm like, uh, let's just swing by the painting place just real quick. <laughs> it won't take long. Come and on. you see our printer in the background, like going off. Oh, d excuse that one, please. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry that about that noise. That. Don't worry about that. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Can you imagine if someone tried that? I play Assassin's Creed 2 and print the paintings off and then sell them. <laughs> I'm surprised no one has. Oh, come on. Because they're so realistic, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, they are real paintings. Yeah, they are. Hey, nice. <laughs> you have 13 out of 100. Yeah. That's 13% of the feathers. What do you get from those other than a trophy? A trophy. That's it? And, uh... Is there a suit? I don't remember if there's a suit. You get something else. I think it's either a suit or an upgrade. Like a <laughs> belt upgrade or something. Oh. But I don't remember what you get. That nice. sucks. You know, honestly, this game looks like it's easier than it is. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is they have, like, one tiny little spot on a wall that you can jump on, and that's it. Yes. And if you happen to just get a centimeter to the left or the right of it or something, you'll just fall. So it just becomes, like, really hard. So here I'm doing this because we're already here. Okay. Come on. Why do you have to be anonymous to walk through that doorway? I don't know. Is that just because that's what Ezio did? And you have to follow the rules? <laughs> that's what he did. <laughs> I hate that crap. <clears throat> hey, you don't want to play this game how you want to play it. You want to play it how your ancestor did. Yeah. What even is this room? Like, what would you come in here for? So you'd come in here. This is actually a very important room in uh, Italian culture. This is actually the, the room. No, this is actually the room where the the leader of this area makes pizza. Goes into that room and he actually takes orders for people's pasta. 
Peepa's Pod Stuff? <laughs> That's the name of the restaurant. <laughs> That's the name of the local, like. Hey, pasta welcome place. to Peepa's Pizza. <laughs> we got a big pizza, pizza, pizza in the Pazzi Pizza. <laughs> hey, you want to come over to the plaza and have a Piazza Pizza? The Pizza Pizza? <laughs> Everyone's like, why was he like coming at the end? Hey, hey, hey. What? <laughs> That's like the company. Hey, yeah. head on over to the pizza pass, a piece of pizza pass, a piece of pizza Take my pepperoni pizza, pecan pie. Ah, would you take my pepperoni right up your pizza shoot, you pocket pizza? Pe- <laughs> you are dead. Why aren't you dead? Man, slaughter him. <laughs> How about you a puck right off uh, while we're puckering up the pizza pasta for the pizza pasta pa- I have to take a piss a pasta pizza pizza it's impossible I'ma take a piss I'ma take the piss out of this a piece of pasta piss Show me a puss so I can put it in the pizza <laughs> Give me the piss from the puss so I can piece a pass a puss. Puss in Boots is my favorite literary character. How is he a literary character? He just is. Oh, okay. It just works. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Why was that guy like Joker? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, all of a sudden you're not in. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. good now. We're okay. Good now. So now I have to climb this thing? Oh, the boy thinks himself a master swordsman. So, my men will make short work of you. Gods! Gods! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stabi lontano! I don't know. Jump after him. Forget about these guys. Well, I think I need to... That guy's getting away. He's not going anywhere. I can look at the map. Luckily, he's just standing there, but he's getting away. (laughs) I need to, like, prove my point. Okay. He's like, I'm not a master swordsman. Well, you know, I need to prove him wrong, even though you just got... Annihilated there. He's got attacked. I'm such a master swordsman. Wait. I'll beat them with a knife. Oh, very epic. And he missed. You're like Ahsoka with this blade. Come on. I think these people are a little better than you because you're not killing them. He's literally dead. Uh, I couldn't even finish your sentence. It's just a flesh wound. Okay. Come on. Okay. Can you, like, taunt him? <laughs> we call him fat? You're Classic. fat! I think it says mom is a fat... <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. What? Nothing. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> the guy's over on the other one. You jumped in the wrong one. You could have, like, body slammed him. You should uh, kill him with your hidden blade. Mm. No, I'm gonna use this. With your hidden nade. Right. So do you think this guy is... Do you think this guy's into like some Dom stuff? Okay, I didn't change... Why does it keep changing to that? I don't know. You... Oh, okay. And then I <laughs> leap into this thing? I didn't do that on purpose. Sure. Is there a ladder or something? No. You have to, oh, now you have to no. reduce distance to target. He's also standing there, but you have to get closer to him. Well, can you climb up? I don't are you like, know. Are you good at climbing? It at won't all? let me climb. Have you ever played a video game in your life? It literally would not let me climb. He just sat there like, where do I go? <laughs> You're not a master swordsman. Cut <coughs> you. <laughs> You're like struggling on this window. <laughs> it wouldn't let me climb up. <laughs> okay, jump in the right one this time. Is that where he is? Yeah, he's in that one. You can like, you can like tap your elbow and like body slam him. See, he's right there. No, he wasn't in there though. And he's then just... you have to chase after him now. Oh, okay. Okay. 
All right. Good well, thing be, Ezio climbs like a moron. It'd be impossible. Run, I mean, it'd be impossible to walk by something, wouldn't it? <laughs> Can you tackle him? Oh, nice. Just get rid of him. Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Francesco? Why didn't they leave or take his pants off? Not leave them. Why didn't they take them off? What are they gonna like jack them off? No, they're going that far already. Okay. That was a little far, by the way. We don't make jokes like that on this channel. I do. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. That's fair. Here, you want to play some? Uh, sure. Well, the problem is you don't oh, take sure. you don't know when to take screenshots. Sometimes you take too many. Sometimes I just you take took one none. right there. Sometimes you take none. I so that's the problem. What if I go like this? No, I don't. This is it's it's a waste anyway. It shows that thing in the top corner. <laughs> would stop, that would stop, that help? Would that help your stop. screenshot? <laughs> no. Okay, stop. you don't want those. No. Oh, okay. I, I thought you would be interested in it's that. It's like when your brother used to play Smash and I'd go out and take a hundred pictures of everything. <laughs> you take pictures of my brother smashing, yes. <laughs> we like talking did about he, something did else. Did he know that you were there in the room? I really want to talk about something okay. else. Okay, should we talk about this woman? Yeah, let's, that's a man. <laughs> Don't oh. assume. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was a woman. No, that was very problematic. Okay, let's talk to him. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. Hey. Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Stefano da Bagnone and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. That guy was like oddly touchy. Well, he's like, Ezio, your father saved me from the river, so you can call me an uncle. I guess you can call me daddy now. <laughs> your daddy is dead. <laughs> yeah, he was very callous about it. Ezio! Sucks say your father died. He can't protect you now. <laughs> From good old Uncle Medici? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna spread those auditories. Okay, alright. <laughs> Show me your auditory! <laughs> He's like... 
He calls it his auditorium. <laughs> I've marked the Palazzo Medici on your map. In order to achieve 100% sync with Ezio's life, you should go explore him. Wait, what? We shouldn't do that yet. That takes a little while. What are they? Um, it's basically a Templar layer. Oh, okay. Has it been, and like an icon that's been added to my map? Yeah, it's that something? it's that uh, Georgian cross. Sorry, that um, that cross for. Uh, Actually, I think it is. Is it the Georgian cross? It looks like it. Okay. It's close if it's not. It's you. Thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city's safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design. For delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. Oh. Nice. Wait, can we get better armor now? We probably can. Armor? Ooh, Helm oh, how much we can get the brace. Heimdall van braces? Why can't we get this? Oh, it's five or it's ten thousand. Jeez. Wow. Well, we'll just get that. Okay. I'd like some more. Uh, oh. Full on throwing knives. That should do it. Right. We have like everything. Now we have to save up like ten million dollars to get that breastplate. <laughs> that breastplate. Yes, well, luckily there are treasures behind every door and corner. I definitely would not put it past you to want to point out treasures. Treasure? That is what you are. You're my golden star. Treasure? That is what you are. <laughs> You're my golden star. Is that like Trump's wooing Stormy <laughs> Daniels or something? I don't even know why he went for her. She's not even pretty. <coughs> she has a big... Uh, yeah, but she wasn't even pretty. Auditories. <laughs> <laughs> nice auditory you got there. Uh, let me check out your auditorium. Hello in there! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> why, uh, what? I was going to say, why is this chest like all the way at the top? I don't know. I was thinking we could get this chest and then call it a day. Okay. It's going to take like 10 years to no, find a way up there. No, 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 it's not. We also have like the world's worst climber here. Like, I feel like you would not do well on like Mount Everest. Why would I ever waste my time with that? Because you want to achieve something greater in your life. That a ton than of other people are. have done. No, I'm good. No, you, you want to do it faster. You want to achieve the world record. Literally couldn't care less. Well,. That's why you're stuck in your room. Also couldn't care less when someone else does it. And that is why you fail. You're right. Do you care about climbing Mount Everest? I care about making a name for myself in history. Would you say that by beating the record, you may be making Everest great again? <laughs> well, that is one way of putting it, actually. I am all for making things great again. Like it so. wasn't good, and then no. you beat the record, and now, now it's good. Now it's good. That makes sense. I like that. Again. Right. Because it was good in the past, and then it right. became not but good. But then someone beat your and record, then... which was anything, because you had never climbed it. Exactly. And now yes. you had to beat their record, which exactly. is... Exactly. Anything. Anything. Like, they, they could walk it. one step, and they beat my record. Right. So then I go two steps, and I beat it again. Nice. And make it great again. Nice. Would you hire, like, the Sherpa people? in order to, yes. like, help you just to I, take those two steps. I would, actually. You'd be like, I, I need, we gotta make camp. You took one step. We gotta make camp. We're gonna go in the morning. First thing. First thing in the morning. <laughs> All right, everybody. First thing in the morning. We need your help. <laughs> Can you imagine being one of those people who has to guide, like, absolute morons up that mountain? Uh, no. I can't either. Well, it depends on how much money I'm getting. I mean, they get good money, but even they die. Like, it's really treacherous. Right, but... They 
are getting money, so it's okay. We, right. we already got that chest once before. Why didn't we just get this other one? I don't know. Like, do we just not know this was here? I think we didn't see okay. it. Can you, like, burst through that ground? Uh, no. Or what? Like, 95? That's it? Wow, that took you, like, 10 minutes to get up here. <laughs> it, I literally timed it. It was two and a half minutes. Jeez. Not 10. Like, I rounded up. I rounded up. Yeah, you rounded way up. It was like two and a half, ten, you know, what's the difference? Like Larry Nasser Is rounding it? down his crimes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All I'm saying is if you're a criminal and you round down your crime, did you commit a crime? Like, what if you presented that to the jury? You know, like, I, I guess you're right, What actually. if I round down? Yeah, like it's 80, but what if I round down to like, you know, zero? Are you talking about people's ages or the amount of crimes you made or what are you talking about? The age, that's like the age of, no, like the, the crimes, I mean. What? The amount of crimes he did. Why are you making a joke about him? That's disgusting. <laughs> like, this is very serious. I'm sorry. I don't think... Oh, jeez. I don't think there's anything to joke about with a situation like that. You're right. You're right. So what do you do? Like, go in the editing and cut out your joke and then just include mine? <laughs> Be like, wow. History is a cruel mistress, now. is it not? Reality can be whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> what if I like started instigating like really bad jokes, and then when you respond, I edit myself out of each one, <laughs> so it's always just you. <laughs> well, I can't believe this Nate guy. He's so problematic. I'm not gonna be able to have him on the channel anymore. I just cannot. I tell him all the time to stop, but he just doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't listen when I say stop. I say stop. Oh. Yes. Jeez. Oh, that guy had okay. 500. You kick him in the balls? Then you punch the air. You have obtained the robber's money as well as your own. Did that guy steal money from you? Yep. You should kill him. I'm trying to. Put him out of his misery. This guy, like, deserves death. <sighs> I mean, well, since I'm the slowest climber and all... What? I can't go up Why here. Why can't you climb one more leap? <laughs> but yeah. I can go up there. Oh, okay. Cool. And he's gone. Okay. That's epic. A, epic. Awesome. That's a pro gamer move. Alright, let's be done. Yeah, let's be done. 